click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends today we are going to discuss about single pulse width modulation technique of an inverter Friends, in the earlier lecture, we talked about different techniques through which or by which we can control the inverter output voltage. The first technique is single pulse width modulation technique where we will be changing the width of a pulse to control the on time or to control the gate signal of a transistor so that the output voltage of the inverter can be controlled. So friends, if you can see this diagram, let's say AR is the reference signal that we are giving in for the pulse width modulation. AC is called the carrier signal. So friends, here from the time interval this point to this point, let's say this point is O, let's say this point is A. From 0 to A, we have got a reference signal and we have got a carrier signal and those two signals are given to the input of a comparator. What the comparator does is, if this carrier signal is greater than the reference signal the output becomes zero and if the carrier signal is less than the reference signal the output becomes one of the comparator now friends if you can see from the time interval from here to here the reference signal is less than the carrier signal so the output we are getting across the gate pulse is zero from this point to this point we have the carrier signal is less than the reference signal so the output we are getting is 1. Let's say d be the width of the pulse that we are getting. So here is the time interval from 0 pi by 2 minus delta by 2 and pi by 2 pi by 2 plus delta by 2. So this point is 0, this point is pi by 2 minus delta by 2, this is pi by 2 and this is pi by 2 plus delta by 2. So by changing the width or by changing the width of this carrier signal we can definitely change the on time of this transistor so the same condition for this part or this portion of the carrier signal in the reference signal now friends as we are applying or as we are getting a gate pulse here because of the pulse width modulation as we can change the width of the carrier signal so this is the carrier signal this is the reference signal we can change the width of the carrier signal so that we can vary the on time of the transistor as we vary the on time of the transistor we can vary the inverter output voltage so if the width of the gate pulse that we are getting as an output of a comparator after a pulse width modulation is d the width of the output voltage we will be getting is d and the same process continues for the friends so friends this is how the pulse width is modulated now let's do some basic calculation on the pulse width modulation or we can say in a single pulse width modulation technique so friends the term m is called modulation index and modulation index is given by AR divided by AC where AR is the amplitude of the reference signal and AC is the peak value of the carrier signal. Now the RMS value of the output voltage is given by V output is equal to 2 by 2 pi integration of pi minus delta by 2 or pi by 2 minus delta by 2 to pi by 2 to plus delta by 2 pi by 2 plus delta by 2 integral pi by 2 minus delta by 2 to pi by 2 plus delta by 2 vs square d omega t under root and finally the value we will be getting is vs into under root delta divided by pi that's the value of the RMS value of the output voltage. Now friends, if we calculate the instantaneous value of the output voltage we get, let's say V naught T is the instantaneous value of the output voltage, which becomes equal to summation, where N starts from 1, 3, 5, all the odd harmonics to infinite, 4 Vs divided by N pi into sine n lambda divided by 2 sine n omega t 
so friends this is the instantaneous value of the output voltage and we already calculated the average value of the output voltage so friends here in this lecture to summarize we discuss about how we can change the width of a single pulse so that a single pulse width modulation technique can be applied and consequently the output voltage of an inverter can be changed thank you so much friends for watching this video please subscribe to ekeda and stay tuned with ekeda thank you so much